Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today, we are on the Isle of Septar, in map square D7, building a Viking longhouse. I've played a lot of Valheim lately, and learned a bit about Viking culture and architecture, and I've decided to translate that today to Conan, as I've not created a Viking build in quite a long time. This build can be constructed without any mods at all, and I've used the Blood and Sand and Aketo DLCs to decorate. I did use modded thralls during the furnishing phase for decoration, but this is purely just to visualise players actually being within the build. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. This longhouse isn't exactly historically accurate, as it's not really possible to do in Conan with the available pieces, therefore I went with something of a high concept longhouse. I built fence foundations to the dimensions shown on screen now, and I also added a one tile surrounding veranda around the build. Next for the walls. I placed some door frames and windows within the longhouse, then covered the veranda with stone brick ceilings and built the walls up one tiles high on the interior of the build. I next placed extra fence foundations inside the structure to support the wooden ceilings, and then placed the ceilings atop the fence foundations to create the ground floor of the longhouse. After I'd placed the ceilings, I then built the walls of the longhouse up. On the side 4x4s, I built the walls 2 tiles high, and then I built them 3 tiles high for the central 6x6. Next for the roof gables. I built fairly standard roof gables on the 4x4s, but the centre 6x6 needed something different. Therefore, I used slope sides, inverted and regular, to create a floating roof gable that had just about enough stability to stand without any extra support being needed. If you went any bigger with this build, you'd probably need pillars to support this floating gable design. I'm a big fan of this approach, it keeps everything open plan whilst also looking great. Next for the roof, I of course chose to use thatch pieces, that's kind of a no brainer, and it was a simple case of just following the flow of the walls and roof gables. However, there is a little more to do on these roofs before I was finished with them. Next, I placed awnings on the veranda. Thatched awnings are a bit of a pain, as the corner pieces are the only awnings in the game, to my knowledge, to have three poles rather than four, meaning the usual method I use of inside corner awnings doesn't work properly. It does, it just looks kind of ugly, so instead I just had to make it do with what I could. Back to the roof. 
Viking longhouses almost always had some form of fire inside, and of course fire produces smoke, and we need to vent that smoke out of the build. Therefore, I cut a 2x2 hole into the roof of the 6x6, and then place some ceilings and then use lattice door frames to create a vent hole, onto which I then placed thatch corner roof pieces. This works really well visually, even if the interior smoke isn't an actual mechanic in Conan. Therefore, I did the same on the left and right side 4x4 roofs. I again used wooden ceilings to support these vent sections on both sides, and then I finally added stairs to the front of the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've used inverted wedge pieces to create roof crosses and added triangular accents to the walls, along with creating a small yard in front of the longhouse filled with supplies and utilities, useful to the Vikings inside. I've also included some banners, bonfires and statues of Amir. Entering the longhouse, the atmosphere in this build is impeccable. One thing I definitely should have added is some hide rugs, as they would have made a lot of sense for this build, but overall I think the longhouse perfectly captures what I was aiming for. There is plenty of room for the Vikings to dine in comfort without being too cramped. The build is entirely open plan, and is held together decoration wise by the strong centre, with the campfires, ale kegs and the chieftain's table holding everything together. Longhouses came in many shapes and forms, and this particular build is based on the Scandinavian longhouse. Though it's far from historically accurate, Conan just doesn't have the building pieces to make a build like this true to what they would have been in real life. Therefore, this is more of a high concept design that works wonderfully well, and makes a great addition to a Viking camp. And there we have it, a Viking longhouse on the Isle of Siptar in map square D7. Thanks for watching, I've wanted to build a longhouse for a while, but every attempt has been pretty boring. 
However, after having learned a bit more about real life longhouses and adapting them to the restrictions of current exiles, I am pretty happy with this design, and I think it would make for a great centerpiece of a Viking village. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sodialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Shannara, and Torn. If you're new here feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel, there are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.